The Subaru Outback is a capable midsize SUV that offers great comfort and has one of the best off-road capabilities. Still, if you're planning on buying this car, there are quite a few recurrent problems in this car you ought to know of. In this short video we will talk about the most common Subaru Outback problems. These problems are from 2009 onwards and cover the 4th, 5th, and 6th generations. And just before we start, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Ignition System Problems The Subaru Outback's defective ignition system has been the subject of approximately 5 recalls. The ignition switch abruptly shutting off is the main issue. The Subaru Outback's fourth generation is prone to these issues. Your car will abruptly stop working as a result of this issue. In addition, you might encounter poor fuel economy, engine misfiring, and engine hesitancy when accelerating. A number of Outback owners have also mentioned that when their ignition system is having issues, their Outback will display the P420 code. The mechanical key ignition switch with a ball spring that is involved in the recall is said to be the source of the ignition problem because it is prone to long-term wear and fatigue failure. This problem ought to be free to fix thanks to the recall. There are, however, additional issues that might be relevant in this situation. The P420 code can appear when one or more sensors, including the mass air fuel sensor, manifold absolute pressure, oxygen O2, and other sensors, experience problems. These problems typically lead to an inadequate air fuel mixture and poor fuel quality. We advise taking your Outback to a nearby dealership for an accurate diagnosis if the ignition system is giving you problems. You can anticipate a repair bill of between $200 and $300 if sensor problems are the root of this issue. Unreliable Linertronic CVT The Linertronic CVTs, which are available for model years 2015 and later, are notorious for having issues and are generally unreliable. What's more puzzling is that these CVT issues typically arise after the car has been driven for about 50,000 miles, just missing the warranty period of 36,000 miles. The most frequent CVT-related problems include, among other things, increased shutters while accelerating and shakes while shifting. Another red flag for a failing CVT is delayed acceleration. You may experience issues with the Subaru Linertronic CVT for a number of reasons. Inadequate performance of the variator belt or pulley, transmission oil leaks, worn out seals or sealants. If your Outback is exhibiting any of the aforementioned symptoms, we advise that you visit your dealership. Other CVT components may also malfunction. Around 4 TSBs have also been released that address CVT issues. The manufacturers increased the 5 and 6 generation Subaru Outback's warranty to 100,000 miles or 10 years in response to numerous complaints from owners. Depending on the type and severity of the issue, repairing a problematic CVT transmission can cost anywhere from $200 to an astounding $8,000. Excessive Oil Consumption Excessive oil consumption is a problem that several owners of the fourth-generation Subaru Outback have reported, specifically the 2013 to 2014 models. One quart of oil was consumed by troubled owners' Outbacks in less than 1,000 miles, which is much more oil consumption than what Subaru advertised. A flawed short block engine is the most frequent cause of this issue, though there are other potential causes as well. Your engine may leak oil if your short block assembly is flawed. Piston rings that are worn out are the second major factor because they allow oil to escape and burn inside the combustion chamber. Other causes include the use of low-quality oil and high-pressure oil. If your Outback is exhibiting signs of excessive oil consumption, we advise taking it to a local mechanic to determine the root of the problem. According to this TSB, the dealership will perform an oil consumption test, and if the results are higher than 1,000 miles per quart of oil, Subaru will replace the short block engine assembly of your car at no cost to you. If the short block engine is not the problem, you'll probably have to fix it yourself. The cost of fixing a problem will vary depending on its size. Changing the oil should solve the problem if the problem is with the quality of the oil. If your Outback's engine needs to be fixed properly, it will cost you between $500 and $1,500. Recurrent Battery Failures Many Subaru Outback owners have complained that their vehicle's batteries frequently drain and eventually die in the middle of the road. Several Subaru Outback models, including the 2015 model, have this issue, which has been the focus of a class action lawsuit. The car not starting, dead batteries, no sound or lights when turned on, and a sluggish start are common symptoms of this problem. These signs point to a battery that is about to fail in your Outback. It has been discovered that the battery is not the root of the problem. The issue is that the batteries repeatedly drain, they are fine on their own. This problem is being caused by a faulty can control area network. All of a car's electrical systems are synchronized by can software. 
The can software prevents the battery from turning off even when the car is not moving because of a software bug. This indicates that even when your car is off, your battery is still operating. As a result, your car continues to draw power from your Outback's battery even when it is essentially not needed, which causes the battery to be drained. There is not enough battery power left in the system by the time the owner returns to their car. After becoming victims of this issue, several Subaru Outback owners ultimately had to buy new batteries. Unfortunately, since the control area network software is the cause of the issue, new batteries won't help much. These batteries will eventually fail because they are not made to withstand constant power drains. Getting trickle chargers or jump-starting the vehicle are temporary fixes for this issue. To resolve this problem permanently, you must have your software patched at a nearby dealership. If this doesn't resolve the issue, your only option is to wait for a lawsuit to be filed, which currently seems unlikely to succeed. Brake Issues Imagine a world without brakes. Driving would be extremely dangerous and reckless. There are a number of brake-related issues with the fourth-generation Subaru Outback that have been linked to accidents, including brake locking, faulty electronic parking brakes, service brake warning lights, and hydraulic brake issues. According to car complaints, 33 accidents involving brakes have been reported. Some of the most typical warning signs that your car brakes need repair include shuddering when braking, a mushy-feeling brake pedal, the appearance of a brake warning light, and an unsettling odor coming from the brake pedal. The failure of the brake control module, which causes the anti-lock system to malfunction, is most likely the root cause of this issue. Rusty rear brake lines can also lead to brake failure. Additionally, some Subaru Outback models had problematic hydraulic brakes that gave their owners a number of issues. In order to address this issue, a recall was issued, and as a result, certain 2020 Subaru Outback models may be eligible for a brake assembly replacement if their brake pedals have manufacturing flaws. You will be responsible for any damages if your Outback is not covered by this recall. Depending on the severity and root of the issue, fixing brake-related problems can run you anywhere from $200 to $400. Cracked windshields Many Subaru Outback owners have also mentioned that the windshields of their vehicles are prone to spontaneous cracking. The unexpected part of this problem was that several Outbacks experienced windshield cracks without being hit by rocks or other debris. Owners reported that their Outback's windshields cracked while they were left in their garage overnight. This issue is more prevalent in 2015 and later models and can have serious repercussions, such as improper airbag deployment or an upcoming readjustment of eyesight. The decision by Subaru to use acoustic windshields starting with models made after 2015 is one of the primary causes of this issue. The sound dampening capabilities of these windshields are superior to those of a typical windshield, but they are also more prone to cracking even after a minor impact. Other factors include the use of low-quality glass by the manufacturers and the cars to ice or sticking to the windshield, which results in cracks. In response to owner complaints, Subaru issued TSB and increased the warranty on these windshields for 2015 Outbacks to 5,000 miles. The cracked windshield can only be fixed by having it replaced, which will cost you between $500 and $1,100. Steering Issues All-wheel drive SUVs like the Subaru should have excellent steering. Unfortunately, the Subaru Outback was not like that. Another issue with the 2019 Subaru Outback was steering problems. Owners of Subaru vehicles have described how their steering feels shaky and occasionally spins out of control. Users also mentioned having trouble keeping the car straight due to the steering's tendency to veer off course. The steering dampener is the cause of these problems. Many Subarus come equipped with a steering dampener that is intended to lessen road feedback, so you won't notice anything when you hit a bump or anything else. You will probably experience steering problems as a result of the significant reduction in steering quality. To solve this issue, use a steering dampener lockdown. To fix this problem, a recall was issued. 48,500 Subaru vehicles, including the Subaru Outback, were recalled because they could completely lose steering. It will cost you between $300 and $500 to fix the steering problem if you have to pay for it out of pocket. Headlights Problems Any car should have headlights because driving without them is dangerous. Another obvious problem was experienced by owners of the 4th and 5th generation Subaru Outback. It is common for the headlights to fail early and for them to fail in broad daylight. What occurs is that Outback headlights include DRL. Also included with auto mode is this feature. Your car will automatically turn on lights whenever it determines that it is too dark to drive due to the combination of these features. 
Your headlights will therefore be on for a longer period of time, leading to an early burnout of these headlights. Other commonly cited causes include issues with the headlight fuse, relay switch, or power spike, all of which have the potential to burn out your car's headlights by supplying too much voltage. Although there is a lawsuit alleging that Subaru covered up the Outback's headlight issues, it has not yet been resolved. If this leads to a recall and compensation, or not, only time will tell. You can purchase an OEM replacement headlight for about $50 to $100 if you decide to fix the issue on your own. Infotainment System Problems With new features and cutting-edge technology, automakers are adding more flavor to cars as technology advances. The cutting-edge infotainment system is one of them. The Outback is equipped with Subaru's most cutting-edge infotainment system. Unfortunately, the installation of flawed software has resulted from the race to incorporate the best features into newer models. The flagship infotainment system in the Subaru Outback, Starlink, has experienced a number of problems. This software's shoddy design causes the screen to go blank and necessitates a hard reset. When activated, the GPS begins to rotate. It occasionally turns off audio and radio control on its own. The back camera occasionally shuts down or freezes. When the car engine is turned off, the software bugs may also cause the battery to discharge. Subaru has released numerous software updates to address these problems. The owners claim that it made little to no improvements. The entire head unit must be changed in order to resolve this. The situation for the owners gets worse because the replacement is backordered and could take up to six months to arrive. In 2018, owners who were fed up with the wait filed a lawsuit against Subaru. With a six-month wait, replacing the head unit will cost $1,816. What are the worst years for a Subaru Outback? If properly maintained, the Subaru Outback is a capable off-road SUV that should last you for more than 300,000 miles. It is one of the most dependable SUVs available, and it has a strong all-wheel drive for effortless driving. But there are a lot of issues with this vehicle. The Subaru Outback's worst model years after 2009 must be 2013 and 2015. The majority of safety issues, some of which required Subaru to recall vehicles, were present in the fourth generation and a few select models of the fifth generation. Due to faulty piston rings in the 2013 Outback, which increased oil consumption and prompted a recall, a class action lawsuit was filed. The 2013 model Subaru Outback is the worst Subaru Outback to date due to a number of additional factors, including head gasket failure, brake issues, poor fuel quality, and ignition system issues. There were numerous issues with the fifth and sixth generation Subaru models, and including infotainment problems unreliable CVTs, and cracked windshields. The best Subaru Outback years are 2020 and 2021 because they have more advanced features and fewer issues. These automobiles will accompany you for a very long time.